There now follows a party political broadcast on behalf of the Labour Party. An election broadcast on behalf of the Labour Party. our television operations room. Throughout the campaign, the leaders of the Labour Party will be speaking directly from here. We've got a sort of permanent staff here. Christopher Mayhew is uh, looking after facts and figures. When there's any interviewing to be done, the questions will be put by Woodrow Wyatt, and I'm going to give some of the news of the campaign. Britain Belongs to You will be on the air in this form 12 times between now and polling day. On sound, and BBC and independent television. Tonight, Hugh Gateskull is here to open our campaign. Tomorrow, he sets off on his national tour, and in future programmes, we'll be linking up with him from other cities in Great Britain. Good evening. The most important thing that's happening in the world just at the moment is not Mr Jasper and his companies, but Mr Khrushchev's visit to the United States. I don't think we should be too depressed by the rows that we keep hearing about. When we came back from the Soviet Union about ten days or a fortnight ago, I gave an account of our meeting with Mr Khrushchev, and I said then that we'd had a pretty rough time. But I also said that after the storm there was sunshine. Mr Khrushchev is the sort of man, I think, who's rather liable to fly off the handle, but after a bit, uh, when he's uh, had his say, then we found, at any rate, he was perfectly reasonable and willing and ready to talk seriously about quite important international issues. But, of course, politics is not a question of personalities, it's a question of issues. And as Hugh Gateskull said, in this campaign, we are doing something of a crusade on pensions on behalf of the old folk. Here is our report. Kingston on Thames. The constituency, until Parliament was dissolved, of the Conservative Minister of Pensions. Compare the posters with the pensioners. Well, we had the National Assistant Board man come to the house and he wanted to know the ins and outs, where I got any money in the bank and uh, what I got off of the council and all that. And we told him the truth. And we didn't tell no lie. And uh, he said, well, they can't do anything for you. He said, the only thing, he said, uh, you're having a shilling over your odds. I said, well, get outside. That was the words I said to him. I said, I don't want to see you. And he never, and when he sees me now, he was like that, and I give him the same. Now, to finish the programme, as always, with a question to which you are entitled to an answer. Because, remember, Britain belongs to you. Will the Conservatives give a pledge that if elected, they will at once increase the old age pension by 10 shillings a week before reducing taxation for anyone else? For more information about James Alexander and the Labour Party, please visit www.time-for-change.org.uk.